Hey guys, it's Perlin here coming at you from a beautiful stream here in New South Wales, Australia. And today I want to talk about one of the best ways to travel around the world. So one of the best ways to travel around the world is to have a local take you around and show you around the city or the place that you're in instead of you just trying to figure it out by yourself. And this is great because the locals know all of the good places to go, they know all of the happening bars, they know all of the really good restaurants and places to eat. Um, usually they have a car so they can drive you around different places. Sometimes they have a spare bed or a spare couch that you can sleep on. So you know you save money on accommodation and they know the local language. So you know if you want to find out about different things that are happening or different things that maybe they haven't tried in the city. They'll be able to talk with different people and find out exactly what's happening and help you get through things. And you just get a really good perspective of the city because you're seeing it through a local's eyes and through how they experience the city. And in some places, the price is a lot cheaper for locals than it is for tourists, uh, especially places where it's like there's more of a barter system. They'll give you a higher price for tourists than they will for locals. But if you're hanging with a local, then you get the local's price. So it saves you a lot of money as well. And it's super fun because you're getting shown around by locals. So they know exactly where to go and exactly what to do. And so the question is, well, how do you do that? Well, let me tell you. When you're traveling around and you're having all these different adventures and you're going to different countries, you're going to be meeting lots of really cool people, especially if you're staying in hostels or if you're going on group tourist activities where there's a group of different people doing an activity you'll meet lots of really cool people. And when you meet these people, make sure you get their details. So when you meet someone really cool and you're hanging out for a couple of days and you're talking, and you, usually they're from other countries or other cities around, get their details. And Facebook is the best because other details like phone numbers and addresses and stuff can change, but Facebook usually stays the same for an individual. So get their details and then say, hey, you know, it was really great to meet you. It was great hanging out. Good luck with your travels if I'm ever in. New York, London, Paris, Sydney, wherever they're from. You say, whenever I'm traveling there, I'll look you up and maybe we can meet up and you know, you can show me around your, your different city and offer the same to them. You know, if you're in another country, if you're both in another country and you meet, say, if you ever come over to Australia, hit me up, I can show you around. So the next time you're planning a trip or you're planning to go somewhere, just go on your Facebook and you're like, mm, who do I know from this place that I'm about to go to? Who do I know in London? This person. Cool. So just send them a message. Hey, what's happening? I'm going to be in your city in the next week. Um, if you're free, you know, it'd be great to catch up for coffee or something. Hang out, see see what's happening. And usually, if they're in, if they're still living in the same city, they'll be like, Yeah, awesome. No worries. Come over. You know, I, I can show you around. I'm working or I'm doing this, but definitely after work, we can go for some drinks or I can show you around the city. And then you set it up on Facebook. You message back and forth of when you're going to be there and what their schedule is and what your schedule is, and you know when you can meet up. And then before you know it, you're getting driven around the town, you're getting shown different sites, you're going out, you've got people to go out with at the bars for food and for drinks. Usually they can, if they've got a car, they'll be showing you, you know, nearby towns or nearby places where they, you know, used to grow up and you have a great time because they're always very eager for you to see their local city. And so they're usually more than happy to show you around. And you'll be surprised about how willing they are to accommodate you when you're visiting their home city. I've had different experiences where I've met someone on, a, on just a bus trip randomly and then, you know, a good three years later, I was going to their city and looked up Facebook. Oh, this person lives in the city I'm going to. Um, I can't really remember them, but I'll send them a message, see what they're up to. And then I've gotten back a message straight away saying, hey, yeah, sure, you know, Perlin, how's it going? Definitely come over, I can show you around. I've got a place that you can stay for free. I can drive you around the city. And I was just like, wow. You know, and that's what happened. They picked me up from the train station, drove around, had a good time, had a place to stay for a week for free in a city. Saves you a lot of money. And it was one of, you know, it was a super awesome experience because I got the Facebook details when I met them. So even if you meet someone for a short period, if they're cool, swap details. And then when you go to their town, hit them up and have a good time. So yeah, that's it. One super, super good way to travel the world if you want to have more fun and you want to do it cheaper and you want to have a more in-depth experience with travel. So yeah, use these tips, very handy. They've served me very well when I'm traveling. Perlin here signing out from a beautiful day in Australia. Happy travels, I'll see you next time.